In this section, I'm going to cover some of the options available to you when you have multiple consoles and multiple users on an EOS network. Let's first take a look at a feature that is partitioned control. And what partitioned control allows you to do is divvy up your channels between users so that you can have maybe one user controlling one group of channels like the conventionals and a different user controlling the movers. So let's take a look at how we would set up partition control on the EOS. So to do this we want to go to our setup menu and the first place we want to look is in show settings on the show submenu we want to make sure that partition control field is set to enabled and when it does say enabled you'll see that it is enabled and then you'll see a P and a number and that number corresponds to the current partition that has been assigned to this desk. So where do we look at the partition information? The touch button in also in the show submenu that says partitions will take us to a screen that allows us to define those partitions and there are currently four available on the EOS. The first one is zero which means this partition has control of no channels. There's a partition one which gives control to all of the channels and then two and three are single parameter and multi-parameter channel control, respectively. So maybe this desk that I'm working at wants to have control of the multiple parameter channels. So I will go ahead and select partition number three. And now when I go out to my live display, we'll notice a few things. One, you'll see that the channels that are not multiple parameter are grayed out and I do not have access to those. So if I attempt to grab, for instance, channels one through 10, I have no control over them. I can, however, select channels 11 through 14 because they are in my partition. And now we have control over those. An additional option available to you when you have multiple users on an EOS network is the ability to assign a unique user ID. What that allows you to do is essentially define a unique programming space for each user. Each user will have um, a unique command line, a unique partition that you can choose, and also the ability to page the displays independently of the other users. So let's take a look at where you would set your user ID. To do this, we're going to go into Setup, and in the Desk submenu, in the area that's called Displays, what we're looking for is the field that says User ID. I simply select the field, select the user that I want to be, and I have set up this console to be user 2. And now when we look in our CIA, in our online status information, we'll see that we are listed as user number 2. And I now have my very own command line. I can choose my own partition, and my displays will page independently from the other users. Those are some of the options available to you when you have multiple consoles and multiple users on an EOS network.